In this section, we consider who are you managing for? Whenever I go on to any new property, I'm looking at the patterns that I see in terms of what kind of pests, weeds, disease, plant growth forms, even working with people, what is the Im impact of that on the outcomes of what we're trying to create? And so for me, it's almost like people are laying their fingerprints across a landscape. And so if we think about many of our common practices, they really are setting the scene for poor water efficiencies, pests, weeds, disease, breakdowns like things like thatch or water repellent soil systems. And so the outcome of all of this is dictated by many, many factors. So they might be environmental factors, such as what's going on nutritionally, what kind of trace elements or minerals are you using, what's happening with air and water movement, what's the temperature, how stressful has that been for microbiology, and then things like monocultures, right, that has a big driver on that soil microbiome. Then what kind of things are we doing around our management? So the types of fertilizer, the inputs that we're using, how often and how low are we mowing pesticides, herbicides, areas that receive a lot of traffic. Um, those kind of things are going to have a huge impact in terms of the outcomes. And then the performance of that turf grass itself can be determined by uh, what's happening with water use management. But as an outcome, what is what do we see? Are we building resilience? Uh, what's happening with water use efficiencies and how much does it cost to maintain particular fields? All of this, this whole story, all of these interactions has been driven by the soil gut microbiome. So the question that we get left with is how do we create healthy, resilient, cost-effective grassland systems that don't require these inputs, that don't require the micromanagement by human beings. So how do we step back? How do we really start to create ecosystems that function? And we do this through rebuilding this microbial bridge, supporting a diversity of bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and nematodes. This fully intact soil gut microbiome is what it takes for us to be able to receive these kind of outcomes.